to our first canyon here. And I'm following Brian Nelson here. This guy's a fucking legend. He rides old 2014 KTM 300. It was like really similar to the bike that I was on, which was the 2015. So we'll see what happens today. getting off the bike. locked out both front and rear brakes oh, down to a turn those ones are hefty Oh my god! Goodness sakes! Oh. Three guys, one bike. That's crazy! Up and down, up 
turned out fucking so sick. Back up. I've done it every time and I use and then this time I was like I can't remember last time if I was supposed to go further or shorter. <laughs> Fuck dude. I I was to go shorter. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> that point too high. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, that's not cool. That is, that is fucked. Do we do this? Except for Brian Nelson. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, where the trail's at. It's just like virgin. The GoPro just does no justice with this stuff. He kind of got off the side hill at the top. Was I, I was talking to Brian about his thought process and like how he makes these trails. Because these are all these are all Brian's trails for the most part. Like he dips on the normal trails here and there, but the rest of this is all like shit that he made. Any at this section? I like it. Yeah, it's good. Kind of different. Yeah, I like it too. Basically his whole thought process behind making the trails is just having like sick views. Like he just wants to be like riding next to like a super like treacherous cliffside or like going down a gnarly chute. When he makes these trails, like look at this. Like we're on like this really gnarly wind, windy narrow ridge line. Like no one in their right mind would think to come down here. And he just fucking does it. Super gnarly, like look at him. Really crucial, crucial side hills. Also notice too, like when you're riding behind Brian, oh my god, that was gnarly. That was so gnarly. <laughs> oh god. I'm trying to say is when you ride behind Brian, I kind of just like never know what's gonna happen. That's what it's like right behind him. You're like, we'll be riding on just like a normal, we'll be riding on a fucking fire road. And then all of a sudden he'll just drop off the side of the fire road down like the steepest, sketchiest downhill. And we'll just start doing some gnarly shit. You just never know when you're behind him. <laughs> it's so sick though. Like, it makes riding simple stuff super fun. So right now, we're just trying to find a trail. Ryan's doing his best to find one of his old trails that he said he hasn't been on in a long time. This is kind of what most of our riding looks like anyway. But we're just, we're not really on a trail most of the time. Thank you. 
Nice rock there to save you from sliding down. Okay. Oh, keep that momentum across. Oh. You're kind of just relying on like bushes and rocks to save you. I gotta get off my bike for this one. Hop back on. Look at this. Peg. And then I'll grab this for Brian. That's a fucking side plate. Quite a messy line right here. When you don't have a trail to follow, just virgin side hilly, it's some of the hardest shit. Oh. Doing some more side hilling once again, but this stuff is really soft, really hard to side hilling. just waiting that outside peg and your back wheel you're just sliding out the whole way across it's like a landslide basically have both brakes locked up I wasn't sure it's gonna happen, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back to the truck.